This right here is not After Effects. This is DaVinci Resolve's brand new keyframes panel in the Edit tab. And this right here, this is the new voiceover tool. DaVinci Resolve 20 packs a serious punch. Last week, I went away for a few days and Blackmagic Design just casually decided to release just the biggest update ever. If you can't see the new update, go to Preferences, System, General, and then check this box where it says automatically opt in for new beta program notifications. But usually I don't go for the beta versions. I don't really care about the novelty and I want stability in my software. And beta versions are not stable. So keep that in mind. But the important word here is usually. This time the new update is so significant and marks the start of a brand new AI future or present, but maybe more future because some of these tools, they're not ready. They have work to be done. With the biggest example of this being the AI Intelli script, it's basically doing a rough cut uh, based on a script that you give it. As of today, it's not very good. It misses a lot of things, but we'll definitely keep an eye on this feature because I think it has a bright, bright future. But the AI tools that are close to perfect and are pretty much usable, totally fine as of today, are probably the AI music editor, the beat maker, the audio assistant, and the silence removal. So now you can remove the quiet parts automatically in Fairlight. Select the edit tool and then select the entire clip or the areas that you want to remove the silent parts in. After that, right click on your audio, remove silences. After you picked up your settings, press the button and in a few seconds you're ready. But this still doesn't replace the recut, link in the description, because the video still stays. Now with Resolve's new AI music editor, which is basically what Adobe Premiere Pro introduced a while ago, maybe a few years back, it allows you to extend or shorten a song depending on your needs. The way this works is you select your music, you go to the inspector, here you'll find the AI music editor, you'll select the live trim checkbox, and now you'll get this special cursor, and when you trim out your music, it will analyze your song, and it will automatically make the cuts with these wiggly lines, you will know where it made the cuts. You also get a few options which you can choose from. Next we have the beat detector. Basically analyzes your song, places markers, not cuts, everywhere you have a beat. Now with the snap enabled, remember that, you can edit your montage to the beat with ease. And finally we have the audio assistance. Here they suggest to make a duplicate of your timeline, so you have your timeline untouched. If you're not happy with the result, go to Timeline, AI Tools, Audio Assistant. Here you will have to choose what kind of preset you'd like. You have a bunch. Let's go for YouTube and Auto Mix. And actually you're listening to what it made because I didn't make any other changes and I straight up uploaded this video to YouTube. I believe this will help a lot of editors tremendously, me included. Something else that helps editors tremendously even before this update were the auto captions. Now we get to animate them, finally, all within Resolve. So to create new subtitles, go to Timeline and then AI Tools and then you'll find the Create Subtitles from Audio. Then adjust your settings and hit on Create. And here is the update. When you go to the effects, you have animated subtitles. Choose one of these and drop it on the subtitle track. This were what I believe to be the most useful new AI features to the regular editor like me in this new update. And here are the not so AI new features that I absolutely love. I'll start with the new voice recorder feature, which I'm currently using. First, you have to name your file, then choose your mic, and then which audio track you want the recording on. Then you have a few options in the upper right corner. You can give yourself three seconds before the recording starts, mute the rest of the timeline while recording, you can have stereo input, and hide the options. We also have a new layout for shorts and other social media edits. You can see it in the cut, edit, and color tabs. In the color tab, we have the new magic mask too. 
an updated and more powerful version of the original. Maybe I should have put this in the AI category. Anyways, it's still not 100% accurate, but it saves so much time. Do you remember how hard it was to rotoscope like five or six years ago? It was. And we also have a new multi-text effect. Here we can stack a bunch of text and have different layers and have different fonts for each or add different animations with keyframes. And speaking of keyframes, this is the best update. We no longer have this annoying keyframes button in the lower corner where we would always accidentally press on it. Now we have a dedicated keyframes panel. So let's say we want to zoom in, add a little keyframe. And like you can see, we have a whole graph like in After Effects dedicated to keyframes. From over here, we can toggle between what parameters we are keyframing and the curves. When we select these keyframes, we can add curves from here. We can add ease in, ease out, and the automatic ease in and ease out. And from right here, we can expand the keyframes editor and we can even put it in our second screen for even more convenience. Blackmagic Design also introduced to us the keyframe tray. As you can see right now, it's grayed out. To not be grayed out, you have to go here and disable the stacked timelines. Then when you click on it, you can see precisely where our keyframes are. From here, we can move them around or even delete them. There are much more features and updates that came to Resolve, but currently they are not in my workflow and I haven't tested them out. In my opinion, these updates might scare some people with the whole AI will replace editors, but that's not happening anytime soon. A good edit evokes emotion. And that's the one thing that AI doesn't have. Hasta la vista. Baby. These tools promise to get rid of the boring parts of editing and leave you with doing the fun work. If there was ever a time, ever a time, to get the studio version, that would be right now. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.